Bloomers and friends, Rev Kev coming to you from our Bloom Chapel. Uh, I am over here just kind of reviewing and did go over a couple things with Russ before we got started now because he's going to be a part of this, but we're getting ready. I've uh, been working with uh, Reverend Dr. Stephen Wales and Ken Forney and, and we've been working on the script for our community drive-in Christmas Eve service on uh, December 24th over at uh, what we uh, what some of us used to know remember as Camelot theaters uh, now it's known as the uh, uh, Palm Springs Cultural Center and uh, we're just really excited about um, the order of service that's uh, being done it's a story of carols and candles and and uh, readings and the musicians which we'll have more information coming on about that and Russ is going to be one of the readers along with um, several other people from the Bloom community and uh, you know we're looking forward to this it it, it will uh, you know be shown up on the big screen and then rebroadcast uh, a little later so we're excited about that lots of people from the community old friends from um, in, in from our musicians in the past and uh, really 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 grateful looking forward to that so please plan to join us there if at all possible you know there's social distancing is mandated and the theater there they run everything like that to make sure everybody's doing it right it'll be safe um, there will be concessions available uh, popcorn you know popcorn hot chocolate I may say this over and over again but we're you know hoping it's a big night for us and there's another special treat um, to do with the luminarias that we'll talk about later. Treat isn't the right word. Special uh, significance is the better word. Anyhow, that's a good thing. You may see beside me that the worship center is already established. Randy and Carlos have been in here uh, earlier today to get that set up. Plus, they're getting ready for the following time when we are going to be in Advent. Um, but they were here and set it up so that we're uh, ready for Reign of Christ Sunday, this Sunday coming up. Um, you know, if we remember right, uh, that's the last Sunday of storytelling for the Christian year. Uh, and then it all starts over again on the next Sunday, which is um, Advent. And so we are uh, looking forward to that Sunday together. And, um, you know, uh, Mike and John are the musicians and... It's kind of a, for us, it's Reign of Christ Sunday and also Thanksgiving Sunday. Um, so we'll sing some of the traditional, you know, we gather together and hymns like that. And, um, you know, say our prayers and, and uh, hear the word. So we hope you'll join us for that. And then, you know, Thursday is Thanksgiving and um, it's different. You know, Mike and I canceled our plans to do what we do, have done for several years, which is meet our cousins in las vegas and uh you know have a thanksgiving buffet with them um and that's kind of a little tradition but COVID is changing all those kind of things and so um we uh can't canceled that trip and so we're going to be home and we're going to be home by ourselves and so we decided and this is maybe an idea for some people if you don't have it already set uh, mike had the idea that um let's not be traditional because this is by no means a traditional year but let's just have Thanksgiving, and so we will just eat whatever we want. I don't know how that, that sounds a little privileged, so I don't mean it that way. But, so Mike is looking forward to um, a big bag of Lay's potato chips, um, like he used to have when he was a kid. So that's his big treat. So that's it. That's all we're going to eat. No, not quite. Um, and I'm looking forward to, which I haven't had these in like, almost a year is um, Frito scoops uh, those are that a Stouffer's lasagna a meat one not a vegetarian one a meat one nothing wrong with vegetarian lasagna but uh, that that we're gonna have a cake I've had my eye out on this very cute little orange cake fall Thanksgiving -y cake that Steve over at Vons has created and get one of those and um, large ripe olives which are always a Thanksgiving treat for me that's about as traditional as we are on this list um, who knows we might come up with some other suggestions but that's what we're gonna do and you know maybe some others might think that's a way to have a nice day too the other thing that I thought of is that uh, 
if there are folks who um, uh, are on your own for Thanksgiving and you'd like to have a phone chat with me or with Mike, um, feel free to give us a call at 760-992-4346. Uh, um, uh, and if you know of somebody that could use a call on Thanksgiving from Mike and me, uh, please let us know. And uh, we would love to be able to just chat with some people uh, on that day and uh, feel free. Um, that's it, it. We can't have a whole big group thing for people who are, you know, don't have other things to go to, but we certainly could talk on the phone. So um, let us know. And if you'd like to do that, we're up for it too. So that's another way we're trying to do it in a non-traditional way. So God bless you and take care of you. We hope to see you in church on Sunday. Facebook Live, 10 a.m. on, on uh, Sunday. Music starts a bit ahead of time. And then, of course, you can if, uh, be at hospitality afterwards. And, uh, you know, that's an enjoyable time as well. The connection for that is through Zoom, and that link is in Bloom Notes. Look for that elsewhere here in Bloom Notes. So I'll be with, you know, uh, God bless you, and as always, please keep us in your prayers. Mm -hmm.